This is the place where sports opinions can lie. That is Sports 365. Well, it finally happened. They finally uh, got rid of Ben Simmons. Hey, oh yeah, that's better. They finally got rid of Ben Simmons. The Nets finally got rid of James Harden. Uh, apparently he was starting to show out again and we know how he do, uh, telling the Nets he's not gonna resign. Um, privately expressing his discontent with the team etc etc Stephen A reported that the deal wasn't going to happen because Kyrie may come back and blah 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 he was wrong just like I was wrong I didn't think the deal was going to happen either uh, but it did so here we are KD talked to uh, Ben Simmons so we'll see where that go and uh, that's it so um, we have a full recap tonight and an evaluation of what just took place, of course. So make sure you guys tune in at 9 p.m. for that. But um, my quick thoughts are that um, I think the Nets won the trade because of the two first round picks. Now granted, if the, if the Sixers are successful, those late round picks won't necessarily matter, but for the Nets, it's assets or whatever. Um, but yeah, Paul Millsap and James Harden for Ben Simmons and Seth Curry and I uh, can't remember the other guy. Two picks and then that's it. So feel somewhat lopsided if you look at Ben Simmons and James Harden as, as, as being players that are equal in terms of talent, even though they do things differently. But I guess at the end of the day, it don't matter. Harden opted in for next year, so he's committed to being there for now. And uh, and that's it. So those are my thoughts for right now. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see if Ben Simmons actually gets his mind right. Will Ben Simmons' mental issues suddenly go away? And if they do go away, I think we have to have a discussion there has to be some type of discussion about players using or could potentially use mental health issues to get out of a situation that they are uncomfortable in you could argue that being uncomfortable is a form of mental health I suppose if you want to make that argument you can have that discussion but I think that if Ben Simmons all of a sudden plays this year in a week or two, two days or whatever, we got to look at that, man, because that ain't going to be right to people that really, really um, have those issues. And if he used that as a means to not get on the court because he was feeling bad, I, I think that's something that we would have to pay attention to. Um, at least James Harden was just straight up. I mean, Ben Simmons was straight up for a minute. Um, then he just, you know, I think him and his team went to that. But who knows? what the truth is, and I guess we'll find out in the coming weeks if he steps on the court with KD. But if KD and Ben Simmons talked, it sounded like he fine. It sounded like he about to get off the couch. He about to get off that therapist's couch and get back on the court. So from the couch to the court, we'll see. But tune in, man, 9 p.m. We'll have a full recap of the trade deals that were made. Kristaps Porzingis going to, uh, well, basically no longer being in Dallas. How is that going to affect things for Spencer Dinwiddie, Dinwiddle, whatever? How does that affect things? How will he play along with Luka Dockic and uh, all the other deals? Ibaka is no longer in L.A. as a Clipper, so they made some moves. So, yeah, we got some things to talk about. We'll have it all tonight, 9 p.m. Tune in. Make sure you guys hit subscribe, youtube.com slash Sports. Subscribe to the button. Hit the like button. Hit the thumbs up button. Get all that stuff, man, and I'll catch you guys then. I'm out. Peace.